Hi, I'm Stephanie D. Burroughs, president of Stephanie Speaking, an inspirational business development, speaking, training, navigating, and consulting company. We're your trusted resource for the small minority women veteran business owners seeking assistance in government procurement programs and cert diverse diversity certifications. I just want to give an update on uh, a program that I attended yesterday. I have to say that each time I've gone to the Greater New York Chamber of Commerce events, man, they have them at some really swank locations. <laughs> and I always have a blast. From the moment you walk into the room, uh, it's just energy, 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 nonstop. And it doesn't stop until you leave. And, and as what happened yesterday, literally, even after leaving, standing on the street corner, another young lady and I had a really wonderful conversation. So yesterday they celebrated Women's History Month at the Hard Rock Cafe in Times Square. It was a great place to hold an event such as this. And I tell you, everything was done with panache. So thanks to all of the staff at the Hard Rock Cafe. It was sponsored by Investors Bank, Health First, New York Prescription Card, and Yummy by Heather Thompson. And she was one of the awardees, could not make it, but she did have a video that um, and, and expressed her sentiments on that video. And it was my first time getting to meet some of the players in New York at today, anyway, it's been quite a while since I've worked in the city. And so it was interesting to hear from the moderator, Cheryl Willis of Time Warner Cable, New York One anchor. Everyone was excited about Cheryl speaking. And then there was also Cynthia DiBartolo, CEO of Tigris Financial, Lou Gordon of Back Balcony, and then Mark Jaffe, of course, Greater New York Chamber. He's the CEO of the Greater New York Chamber, by the way. Puts on a, they put on a class act, I have to say. I enjoy going over there and always meeting new people. So I mentioned Heather Thompson was one of the awardees. Gay Anderson was another. Now, why was I there? Because I had to go and give a one up. I had to just put it out there for my girl, Terry Cuxham. And Terry is a Region 2 advocate for the U.S. Small Business Administration. Um, but she's also a phenomenal educator as well. She's teaching at colleges and also doing some online teaching. And I've had the privilege of, of spending some time with Terry, some really valuable time um, and fun time. And Terry is such an advocate for education. I'm in awe of all that she's doing and what she's done. And then there was Josephine Infante, CEO of Hunts Point Economic Development Corporation. What a story she had to share with us. And Letitia James, wow, New York City's public advocate. They call her Tish. I hear this is a, she is a dynamo. And in addition to that, she even gave us a little song at the end of the program. Anna Oliveria Vera. Um, is a senior vice president and regional manager for Investors Bank. And Shannon Trotel, and Shannon, I hope I said your name correct, is the assistant news director at Time Warner Cable News New York One. And I have to tell you, the things that were said about her, Cheryl Willis did a bang up job just sharing with us how wonderful and what a great human being Shannon is. So congratulations to all of yesterday's awardees. And it was a pleasure meeting all of you who I had the chance to stop and talk to. And I look forward to seeing you again soon. Stephanie D. Burroughs, president of Stephanie Speaking. If you need help with your government procurement programs uh, or diversity certifications and you're a small minority women or veteran business owner, reach out and touch. You can just make certain to email me at procure advisor at stephaniespeaking.com.